So starting a while ago, I did a series known as Five Underrated Guns. It is one of the original series of that type that I started doing. At the time, they did pretty well, but today I wanted to do something a little bit different and a little bit the same. A lot of people do setups, but they tend to just be like, oh, long barrel, full stock, stubby grip. It's kind of just some boring stuff, but today I wanted to do some underrated setups that I've made myself and I think are, while not the most used setup, they are a very good option. So yeah, comment your underrated setups down below. Do not do just, oh, here is the normal setup. I want to know your guys' setups that are very different from a regular setup. Please no HK21 setups, I don't want them. And let's say if this gets 500 likes, I'll continue the series. But yeah, let's get right into it. The first setup is this setup, the AS Val with the IWI sight. Default, of course, the stubby grip, retract stock, and extended magazine. So the two very interesting parts about this are one, the IWI sight, and two, the retracted stock. The stubby grip, extended mag, and of course none because there are no barrel attachments. Those are normal, but a lot of people kind of sleep on this iron sight, which in my top 10 iron sites I put it in that video. And a lot of people use the full stock, but they don't use the retract stock. Now, the reason for this is the full stock gives you better recoil, and the retract stock actually increases your recoil by a little bit, but the recoil is still really accurate, and your movement speed and handling are better with this retracted stock. Plus, these iron sights are kind of slept on, like I said. And altogether, this makes a very interesting and underrated setup. I do not see people using the IWI sight, especially on the AS Val. I think the only other gun I've seen it on is the M16A3. That's because the M16A3 is like the most common gun. Oh, that could have been a nice jump shot. Wow. Bow, bow. But yeah, I mean, look at this. It's still really accurate. What was that, dude? That was some weird kills. Plus, like, I hate how slow the ASL walks, especially with the full stock. And it's still kind of slow even with this setup, but it's a lot better because it's like double, oh wow, double like um, faster because full stock is slower, normal stock is normal, and retract stock is faster. So basically, two iterations of being faster. I was thinking about not using the extended mag, but then I realized that it doesn't actually slow your walk speed, just like other handling types. I don't have a huge problem with this aim down sight speed, just the walk speed of the gun, just how fast you walk. It's kind of slow and it's not like, I just don't like it. So yeah, if you're having a little bit of problems just operating an AS valve just because, okay, look at that recoil. It's still really accurate. If your AS valve feels a little bit too slow, use the retract stock. I've seen people use it like twice maybe, but I've seen full stock use like a hundred times. So yeah, if you have the kills for it, check out this setup. You might like it a ton. If somebody ask you about your setup in game let them know that it's from this video but next up we have my personal setup for the g3 battle rifle so my personal setup right now is the amt compensator pistol grip tri laser and none now you could use stubby grip but personally i use pistol i'm not 100 percent sure that this is a better grip but the pistol grip seems to work pretty well maybe i'll switch back to the stubby eventually i have a lot of kills on both i think those are my two main used grips and the angled as well i have like a thousand angled kills but since i started using all tame i was like no i can't use angled if i'm using all tame because angled is for camera recoil. I'm like, I don't have camera recoil. I'm using all time. And comp does make your vertical kick a ton. Uh, what? Does that guy have invincibility? I thought I lagged out for a second, but I saw another guy moving. Uh, what? This is the weirdest fight I've ever done. Okay, peek it. Oh, no, I have the Tech 9. I thought I had the XIX out. No, how are you still alive? But yeah, the G3 with this setup, man, it kind of just goes. But next up, we have a DMR setup, the Mark 11 with the Malcolm 3 times. Now, I've seen some DMR type people that use DMRs a ton using the Malcolm on a ton of DMRs. And I think I just repeated DMR like five times when I said that sentence. This is my Mark 11 setup. It's the Malcolm three times muzzle brake, stubby grip, green laser. Now is this a little bit overkill for recoil control? Probably don't think I need this much recoil control, but it's nice to have. And you'd be surprised how good a Malcolm can be on a DMR. I don't like it on autos and I don't like it on snipers. It's too much zoom on any automatic gun and too little on a sniper rifle, but on a DMR, it's a nice like mid range and that can make it just nice. I don't know. Oh, and Canta Delta, I actually might use that. I might have to revise this setup. Okay. Okay. We are simply gaming. Quad kill on... Please multi. No! Alright, let's check this out. Oh, that's so sick. Okay. We got that close range canted. We got that long range um, actual scope. Get out of here, dude. Dude, this is so sick. Because you got that long range gun. You don't need a macro to shoot it fast. Basically, just look up a metronome for 330 BPM and then just learn how to click that fast. Well, not 330. I would go like 300. If you click too fast with this, it actually slows it down. But you don't need a macro to use it correctly. And I feel like it's better to not use a macro on this because when you want to tap fire at long range, you can do that. Although it has very fast recovery speed. Holy, why is everyone just lining up for me? So yeah, that's my setup now. Malcolm three times, muzzle break, stubby grip, canted delta sight. That is such a sick setup that I revised halfway through, but who cares? The next setup is going to be an LMG 
and if you notice I did an assault rifle, battle rifle, a DMR, an LMG, and next I'm gonna do a secondary, but like stay tuned for that. For this one, we have the Scar Hammer with an ACOG long barrel stubby grip tri-laser and 9mm conversion. But yeah, so basically, this is a very long range, surprisingly considering it's a 9mm gun. LMG, DMR, I don't know, dude. This thing, it's a weird setup, but the nice thing is it's kind of like the Mark 11 setup, but instead of having a canted delta sight, it just has alt aim. So let's say there's a guy really close. Now you can use this alt aim and there's a guy long range, you just shoot him with this. Plus the long barrel gives you better muzzle velocity and some insane damage ranges of like 300 studs. If you're really having trouble with the recoil, you can put on a compensator. Your bullets won't fly as fast and your five hit kill range won't be as far. However, you will have better recoil. Maybe you can also put on a folding grip, I guess. But if you want no camera recoil up close, you can always just switch to alt aim and then you'll hit like every shot. And I think a good part about this setup is that while it doesn't have a canted delta, you actually keep your lasers, which means that alt aim is actually effective. Plus you'd have to press T like an extra time uh, because you have to go through the alt aim to the canted delta and it's just really annoying. So I wouldn't do it. But yeah, I've talked about this before. The Scar Hammer did get a pretty big nerf, but the nine millimeter conversion didn't. So the 9mm conversion basically became the meta on the gun. But for the final gun, we have the XIX. Coyote Sight Extended Barrel Police Stock Default. Now, I've talked about why I don't really like the extended barrel. It's kind of annoying, but this is essentially, come on, dude, let me kill him, a 50 cal Desert Eagle DMR. This can three shot anywhere on the body at all ranges, two shot to the torso, or kill with one limb and one head or one torso and one head, and an injured player will almost always die from one shot to the head at any range. Alternatively, you could use oh wow okay the police barrel but the handling of that thing is just so bad so horrendous actually it might be slightly better than this but i don't really like how you can't torso kill but yeah a lot of people think okay police barrel police stock but not extended barrel police stock but yeah i guess we can try out this one does this have better handling or worse i can't really tell by the way the handling is actually horrendous but this setup you can't actually torso kill anymore you can headshot kill at all ranges and you can still two shot to the limbs and also you get way better velocity but actually the recoil might be worse no actually i think you get worse recovery time I don't want to talk about that, but this setup basically makes it a torso killing DMR. It'll torso kill to the same range as the executioner more or less. Actually, I believe slightly farther, but here's the thing. The handling is just so bad. So horrendously bad. So usually I'm going to use my regular setup of just a green laser and a muzzle brake. The XIX has always had some of the worst handling in the game. You have to balance it somehow though, since it is a 50 cal pistol, but this setup feels less like a secondary and more like a very, very slow primary. The capacity of the gun isn't even that bad either. Like 7 plus 1. That's pretty good. That's like a the old 1911. I believe with the police barrel, you get like OM velocity. No, OS velocity, not OM. But considering it's a pistol and it has an OS velocity, that's pretty good. OS only has bad velocity because it's a sniper. And snipers are supposed to like, you almost hit scan. Like they're supposed to be able to have a fast velocity so you can hit shots easier. That's kind of important when you only get one shot. But yeah, gamers, that is five underrated setups. I had a lot of fun with this video. I feel like it's going to turn out pretty good. If you guys enjoyed or liked any of these setups, make sure to like, let's go for 500 likes and I might do a part two. Might even make it as soon Series if I can get enough setups. So comment your interesting and different setups down below, but I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.